She heads over to the counter and sets the compact and box on it. Turning back to me, she gives me a bright smile as her body begins to shimmer in the light. Within seconds, she explodes before my eyes into a swarm of beautiful golden butterflies, leaving her clothing in a pile on the floor where she had been standing. The butterflies circle and flutter around the bathroom, in no particular pattern, as butterflies will. Then, they all meet up again to form the silhouette that resembles my friend, and, like an implosion, Buns is back in her normal form in front of me. Holy freaking Buns, I say to her in awe. Exactly, she replies, getting dressed again, and all the while smiling at me. Will I? I ask, unable to form the complete sentence. Yes, she replies. At least I think so. I'm not positive because you're both angel and human, but since everything else is evolving like an angel, I can only assume that this will too. Can you take any form you want? I ask. No, that's about all I can do, she says in a casual air. Brownie is the same. We never really hone this skill too hard because we rarely ever use it. It comes in handy when I want to evade humans and I have somehow gotten trapped, but mostly I can just outrun them or fly away. I rub my forehead in annoyance. Okay, I think it's time we started the Angel 101 class so that I can be let in on all of these little pitfalls that I keep stumbling into, I say in exasperation as I pace the room. Because now I have to worry if the chair in the next room is really a chair and not some evil angel waiting for me to sit down in it so it can kill me. Evie, we have to transform into something animate. Chairs are safe, she says, chuckling at me. I put my hands on my hips and glare at her amused face. Yeah, great, so you're saying every bug I see could be a threat, though. Well, I wouldn't worry too much about bugs unless you see a horde of them. Then you can worry. If you noticed, I turned into a swarm of butterflies, not just one. So scale is important? I ask. Yes, she replies. And about the Angel 101 thing, Bun says in a tentative voice. What about it? I ask, my tone suspicious. Well, we all had a discussion about what to tell you and what not to tell you. Reed made a point, and I think he's right, that we can't just go blurting out all the secrets of paradise and shield to you. There are laws which forbid us to reveal things to humans, and since you're part human and have a soul, we have to be careful, she says as she watches my face darken. Don't get me wrong. Once their side slips and reveals something, I'm all about explaining it to you. Here's the thing. If your soul does leave your body, I want to make sure it gets into paradise because I can't bear the thought that I'll never see you again. Her voice has a catch in it when she says, I'm not heading into the negotiations for your soul having tipped the scales in their favor because I revealed something to you that allows you not to act on faith. Buns, I have wings sticking out of my back. What more proof is there? I ask her gravely. She smiles at this and replies, You could just be a freak and I could be lying to you about everything. <laughs>